Ah, do you smell that? That's the sweet smell of victory. Dun 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 great dun 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 great. So no delay in the loot crates this time around, but now we're getting to open the victory crate. I don't know why I have this posture. It's like I'm trying to defend it from some unseen force. Because I just won. This is like killing a thing. Da 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 Yeah, anyway. Let's see what we got. Starting off is this month's t-shirt, which, ooh, multicolored t-shirt. Okay, so this is from Yomomushi, this is from Yomomushi Pedal. And I had to say that twice because I didn't know if I was blocking the mic. See, I can, like, block the mic. Now you might not be able to hear me that well. Don't know. We'll find out. I'll cut it if it's bad or horrible. I'll just readjust that just quickly because the mic's right there. This is Yomomushi Pedal. I know nothing about Yomomushi Yo Pedal because I've only ever watched one bicycle anime, and that was Overdrive, and nobody else I know has ever watched it, which makes me quite sad. But I've always meant to, but you know, you get this list of anime you need to watch that starts to become monstrously large, and then a lot of it just never gets watched. But this is one of the things that I meant to watch, never did. So I probably will enjoy it a lot more when I finally do get it, and maybe this will actually give me a reason to go ahead and actually watch it so I can actually wear this shirt and understand what the hell it is about. Next up! From the world of Nintendo comes a green Splatoon squid. Just making sure that nothing lights up or turns on, because I got caught with that last time. Oh, do you remember this from a couple of loot crates ago? It lights up. I didn't know that. People told me afterwards, because it's like, there's this little thing in it that you can click, and then it'll change blinking speeds. But I didn't know that, so that was cool. Anyway, so there doesn't seem to be a... a a light or anything in this one. It just seems to be a plush. Well, that's fine, because it's Splatoon. And Splatoon is awesome. Which is why I'm kind of sad they're not doing many more Splatfests. Makes me kind of feel like they're giving up on the game. Which is sad, but... <sighs> this is the way of life of multiplayer games nowadays. This is why I generally prefer to go with the single-player experiences, because I, I, I prefer those um, quite a lot. Next up is the... Free Eternal Summer Cool Change Water Bottle. It is cool, and it'll make your water cool, cooler, coolest. Well, probably not, because that's in a completely different series I was referencing there. Anything special about it, or is it just like a pretty plain... Yeah, it's a pretty plain water bottle. I'm curious of how long it'll actually keep things cold for. Doesn't say. I'll have to try that out. Maybe while I'm, you know, out Pokemon hunting in Pokemon Go. That's a thing. Like, I'm not already the biggest, like, obvious Pokemon nerd because I have a Pokemon hat and I have those, uh, the Poke counters from the Soul Silver Heart Gold era that I usually have on my bag just to let everybody know, by the by, I'm hunting Pokemon. So get the shit out of my way. I am catching that. What did I catch today? I can't even remember. I think it was an execute. Yes. Was an execute. I got an execute. Anyway, so this will be useful, and I'll do that tomorrow when I go out. Assuming I go out tomorrow. I need to go out tomorrow, actually, because I have a package to pick up. And I do so love packages. But we're not done with free yet. This is a, uh, apparently a Loot Crate exclusive. Uh, luggage tag. It's an odd thing to put in a Loot Crate, a luggage tag. Oh, if you travel a lot, it's probably really awesome. Oh, wait, this thing has movement in it. Hold on. <laughs> There's like little water stuff in it. I don't know. Okay, the problem with this, there we go, is that I'm trying not to get the light glare off of my thing, but yeah, no, there's water and it moves around, and that's actually really cool. I should put this on my luggage. Hopefully, uh, TSA won't be like, what is this liquid? Is this liquid explosive? And then, you know, my bag goes through quarantine or something, I arrive at wherever the hell I'm going, and it's not there. I can't remember the next time I'm actually going to use a flight. Probably to Newfoundland. Yes, because the next time I'm flying out for a convention is for Atlanticon in September. All my other cons I'm driving to or something similar, so that'll be cool. It's actually pretty easy to take this off, though, so I'd be worried I'd lose it. It wouldn't be the only luggage tag that I would use then, but yeah, no. This is cool. This is definitely going on my bag. It'll be very easy to tell which bag is mine. Not that it already isn't easy, because if you have a luggage 
the best thing you can do is do something really big. Firstly, get don't get black luggage. That's just wrong in general. Uh, but what I do is I have this um, kind of large belt strap that I go that goes around my bag, and it's a rainbow. And there are very few bags that have rainbow straps on them. So while my luggage is black, because they are the cheapest, unfortunately, uh, the rainbow strap makes it very obvious which one's mine, and this will just do it even more so. Especially if it ever gets lost, because then it'll have my name and shit on it. Next up is the manga that we haven't actually had for a little while, and this is the first volume of Yowamushi Petal. Cover's weird. Like, normally, um, do I have... Okay, maybe I just didn't notice it. Okay, so here's my copy of Noragami from a while back. And it has this weird feel to the cover to it. And this one does too, but then um, there's more like laminate kind of feeling front. It's actually quite well done. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Hopefully the bike, not the bike. There's a bike on it. I saw a bike, so I said bike. This is a bike on the on the cover. Hopefully the, the manga is actually pretty good. And this one will probably get me to watch the show more than anything else will. Because, you know, why not? Uh, and one of my favorite things... Uh, is our little keychain thingy. It has the wonderful eight imprinted on the back of it in Roman numerals because that's what the cool kids use. And it's this victory cup with wings and a star on it. And then I get to do my usual thing where I try to have it not fly off into the sunset Team Rocket style. I've gotten good at it. Lastly, to check out the poster to make sure I didn't screw anything up and forget anything. Maybe I should actually read the poster this time around so I don't have the same screw up that I did that last time. Did it already rip? No, it didn't rip. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, poster. A lot of things with bikes this month around, but you know, the, the Yomomushi pedal, the Yomomushi pedal thing will bring that. Okay, did I forget anything? No. T-shirt, thingy, plush. It's literally just a plush. Cool. You got the water bottle, the book, and the luggage tag. Cool. As usual, a fairly decent loot crate. Nothing absolutely amazing. I'm still using the uh, Fulminal Alchemist doormat, by the way. It's still out there from, I think that was last, last month's loot crate. Either way, still using that. And of course, pretty good loot crate. Is it an absolutely uh, amazing loot crate? No, not an absolutely amazing one but a pretty good one, and as usual, there's, there's like one or two things that I get that I normally wouldn't get. So like, um, the free luggage tag, like, I would not buy this normally. I have no reason to pick one of these up. I'd be like, ah, I'm fine without a luggage tag and, and what have you, but yeah, you know, luggage tag. And that's generally what I get the loot crates for. Just one of these, or one or two couple of things that I normally wouldn't buy on my own, but now that I have them, yeah, I'll, I'll use them. And now I'm looking up on my phone uh, the things for next month. Okay, so next month, the theme is Squadron. You need to sign up for it by the 27th of this month. There'll be full details on the bottom of the screen if you are interested. And apparently Squadron will be containing things from the franchises of Gate, Gundam, Anti-Magic Academy, and Apeggio of Blue Steel. Which... Well, some of those are interesting, like Gate. I'm curious of what they're going to put out for Gate, but Gundam... Gundam's very vague. Gundam's been around for a long time. There's many different Gundam things they could be doing, and who even owns Gundam in North America? Like, I know like, Ride Stuff and Nozomi Entertainment own, like, a lot of the new shows, or a lot of the shows that never got brought over. So they've been doing a lot of re-releases, but maybe they're doing the the merchandising rights through them? Or maybe they just went and got... Now, that merchandising rights for Gundam would be pretty big. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious, though. We'll find out, because, you know, I, I've been doing... Most of these crates, I haven't really missed one yet, so that'll be interesting to see if I get one. Don't know, but if I do, might as well make a video because I enjoy doing them, even if not everybody enjoys me doing them. But I do, and that's all that matters. Don't even know if that made sense because now I'm actually replaying what I just said in my mind and part of me is saying, no, that doesn't really make sense. Maybe you should redo it, but nah, screw it. Doing it live. Not really, but mostly live. So thank you for uh, sitting and uh, watching me ramble on through uh, my monthly Christmas video of opening a loot crate. Hopefully we'll be doing so again next month if you are still interested and if I'm still interested. Again, all the information that you need to get your own loot crate uh, is down in the description along with a coupon code should you require it. And until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and others, stay frosty. Bye bye